Here we're going to look at some of the functions on the remote here. So I want to show a little bit about the very few buttons that appear on this remote and just kind of go over what some of them do. You're probably used to the freeze and no show options. Uh, those are the probably the only two reasons that you'll really need this remote other than power. So I want to get a device connected to this now. So just as a recap, I'm going to tap this little up arrow and choose screen share to get my laptop connected wirelessly. So there is the code, and I'm going to just hit the screen share option on my computer. It's remembering the old code, and I did refresh it. So I'm going to type in the new one, 453901. 453901. All right, there it is. And touch back. Yeah, sure, let's go into the waiting room now. It's still remembering the name of my device was Ben. Now remember, it's not going to automatically pop up when you do this, it's going to add you to the waiting room. So you'll see that one here. So I'm going to open that up. There it is. And let's go ahead and connect to my laptop so I can show you the freeze and no show buttons. So here we go. I'm now wirelessly connected to the laptop and I could walk around the room with it if I want, but let's take a look. So hitting the freeze icon, I'm aiming the remote. The little icon will appear on the panel itself here showing that the device is indeed frozen. And if I tap, it's not going to show anything, but it is important to know that even though I can't move it here, I am moving it over there. So freezing it does not suspend touch functionality. So just to know, if you have your laptop connected wirelessly and you freeze it and some students come up and start messing with the screen while it's frozen, they may be messing with your computer. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to unfreeze it now. I'm going to aim the remote at that little eye, hit the freeze button until that freeze icon went away, and now it is unfrozen and I can actually start moving things again. Next, we're going to uh, look at no-show, which again is what it sounds like. Hitting no-show will turn off the display temporarily so that way it's completely black. Zero distractions, hopefully. But uh, let's take a look and see if I can do this. No-show does turn off touch. So I'm touching the screen, nothing's happening on my computer. But if we go back and turn no show off, it just comes back 100%. Okay. So good to know about freeze versus no show and just a couple tips along the way. Um, that's the basic, you know, most of what you get with this little remote other than the power button. 